Hi guys, today in this video we are going to look at the Lewis structure of C2H5OH or CH3CH2OH. These both are accepted chemical formulas for ethanol. To understand the Lewis structure of this molecule, we are first going to look at the total number of valence electrons and the number of atoms in this molecule. So we have two atoms of carbon which means we have eight valence electrons. So as we have two atoms of carbon, we have eight valence electrons for carb from carbon. We have five uh, hydrogen atoms which means we have five valence electrons from hydrogen and uh, we only have one uh, atom of oxygen here which gives us six valence electrons and there is one more H over here so we are also going to add this up. So in total you get 20 valence electrons for uh, this molecule and we are going to arrange the atoms and check if the octets of all atoms are complete. So we are going to place um, C2H5 first and then we are going to place this functional group. So OH is a functional group for alcohol. And we are going to place bonds between two atoms and each bond takes up two valence electrons. So in total we are placing eight bonds over here which is taking up 16 valence electrons out of 20. And now we are only left with four valence electrons which we are going to put around oxygen to complete its octet. So oxygen will have two lone pairs of electrons but will have a complete octet. Now you can also count the number of electrons for each atom and you will see that the octets of all these atoms are complete as carbon has 8 valence electrons in its outer shell, hydrogen has 2 valence electrons in its outer shell and oxygen atom has 8 electrons in its outer shell. So all the octets of uh, the atoms are complete and this is the Lewis structure for C2H5OH or ethanol. I hope this video helps you to understand the Lewis structure for this molecule and for more such videos on molecular geometry, Lewis structure hybridization and polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching